Modest in touch, probably iPad. It's a spice simulation and circuit design environment. Developed for students, educators and engineers. In this first of three videos, I'm going to introduce you to the environment so you can create and simulate your circuits. We'll start by opening Multisim Touch. That opens up the circuits view. This contains all the circuits we've created on Multisim Touch. We can scroll up and down by dragging our finger up and down. To open a particular schematic, simply tap that schematic. That then opens up the schematic view. We can zoom in and out on the schematic view by pinching in and pinching out. Let's take a look at the top toolbar on our schematic view. The first button is our back button and that will return us to our circuits view. Next we have the graph button and opening that up will show us our simulation results in a graphical format. Tap back to return to the schematic. The next two buttons are our start and stop simulation buttons. If we tap start it will then run our pre-configured transient analysis. Return to the schematic by pressing the back button. Next we have our analysis settings button. This allows us to choose what analysis model we wish to run as well as change the configuration of that analysis model by pressing the I button. Tapping the spice button allows us to either access messages associated with our simulation, such as warnings or errors, or access the netlist. This shows us the netlist we have created on our schematic. If we tap the properties button, we can change properties associated with our schematic, and then tapping the component button gives us access to all the components within Multisim Touch, which we can then use on our schematic. The help button allows us to access the full Multisim Touch help interface. Of particular interest is the examples and reference material from which we can import courseware examples into Multisim Touch. Also from the help menu we have tooltips. This highlights key buttons on our schematic view. We'll return now to the circuits view to see how we can manage the schematics we've created. To do this tap the edit button. This then gives us options associated with our circuits. Firstly we have the rename circuit button. So tapping that opens a keypad where we can change the name of our schematic. We also have the duplicate button. Tapping that creates a replica of our circuit which we can then rename and edit. We have the delete button to remove a schematic from the circuits view. The final button we have here is the export button and that gives us two options. We can upload via Dropbox to our connected Dropbox account or we can email our circuit to another user of Multisim Touch. For more information on Multisim Touch visit ni.com forward slash Multisim forward slash mobile.